on the pass, but kept alive by the Canes. Jarvis moving in. Shot saved by Lomov. Let's go! Power play goal! You can only tempt fate so many times, and that's exactly what happened to the Islanders. And for the Canes, the initial shot, and then the alert bump pass by Jake Gensel. He's been here before in the Stanley Cup playoff stage. Point of game player coming into this game. Held in by the Canes. Cross ice to Jarvis. Moving in. Jarvis! Score! Seth Jarvis is a fan favorite. He's a coach's favorite. He's a teammate's favorite. And boy, oh boy, do the young legs come to the fore here. Seth Jarvis fades away, kind of gets lost and unchecked. Svechnikov, another block shot. Burns in the corner to Jarvis. One timer, score! And when you don't get the clear, you have the defensive zone draw. And the Canes recognize that. And this is quick, quick touches. Svechnikov, half slapper a la Nikita Kucherov. Brewery enters the zone. Plays it in deep for Carolina. Loose. Score! Nine seconds later, here come the Canes on the forecheck, and it's Martinuk with the hit on Dobson. Quick pickpocket, and he slams this one short side. Yeoman's work by Martinuk, a big part of the Canes, is their forecheck. Steered along by Palmieri. At the point, Ajo leads it up the wall. Gensel in the zone. Gensel drives the net. Score! And I gotta give Tom Den Dundon and the Canes a lot of credit. The biggest fish on the board. Gallagher with four goals, eight points. Scores! They had three bodies back. And nobody over on the far side. Across, quick shot. Yeah! Scores! Don't break it! Across to Gostas Bear and right to Dabrickett, who really, you rarely ever see him shoot the puck like this. It's a razor. It's not a snapshot. Perron with it. Down low it goes. Raymond across. Hermia, what a stop. By Gostas Bear. Perron across. Larkin. Gostas Bear. Perron. Cuts to the middle. Down low, Raymond. Chance to shoot. Season. What a keep in by Shane Goss to spare. I guess. 30 goals for Lucas Raymond. We've said it many times, and yes, more than ever before, Dude. everybody loves Raymond. To the middle. The shot. And the Holland Michigan native stopped there by line. Lead pass in for Larkin. In space for Raymond. And he's got Lucas Raymond! going to saucer it into a location that they can't get it, but he can. And Raymond gets it, and he just pulls the trigger on it as Hudson cannot get his stick in the lane. And the Detroit Red Wings, down 4-2, to two, come storming back and are still alive. Just all over. Well, the Coyotes that time, Luchushkin was draping Kraus. And a shot and a goal, and Lawson Kraus. Gets the Coyotes on the board. Kraus parks himself right in front with Matias Michelli back door in case he misses. Pucks and people to the front of the net. Well, he had Carconi, couldn't get his stick on it. Kesselring again, he shoots, he scores! Michael Kesselring! He missed one early, what a pass, no look pass by Sean Dursey. I want to see that again. Dursey's looking up high to the point. He knows Kesselring's back door. 
Zucker with it. Zucker wrap around, he scores! And it's a one goal game! A third of play here by Zucker. He had four missed shots in this hockey game, and he comes with a wrap, and it goes far side, posted in. McCarr wants to spin it around, but he can't. Michelli out high, Dursey towards the front, he scores! Sean Dursey, he's tied it! This was a turnover by Kale McCarr earlier in the shift behind the net. He was going to put this puck out of the zone. He fanned on it. The Coyotes keep it alive. And Dursey just gets it to the front of the net. Michelli wins the foot race. Stripped away. Coyotes get it in over the line. Zucker. Dursey to Zucker. He's stopped by Georgi. Everybody, it's in. It's in. Coyotes win. Looks like it hits the blade. I, I mean, and here's a, a slow motion look. Where's the puck hit? Oh, that's going to count. That's right out the shot. View, it was determined that we have a good goal on the ice and stands. That's Bailey on the far side for San Jose. Turned over. Back to the net. They score. Let's take another I look. I think you're right. I think you're right. It might have been Kevin LeBanc. Back for William Eklund. Granlin pumps it. And they score! Tomas Hurdle. And it's a one-goal game. 4-3. And now the Auditor's looking to clear, but it's clubbed down by Zetterlin. He gets it back down the boards. Barabana drops for Eklund. Shoots. They score! Hurdle for the hat trick. And more time. Look at Eklund, freeze Sorokin. Looks like he's shooting in the net, finds Hurdle sliding into that quiet area. Sharks have tied it up, and as you said, wow. Granlin, got to go. He'll come to center. Eight seconds to go. Granlin in. Eklund shoots and scores! William Eklund wins it in overtime. What a comeback by the Sharks. Eklund as the Sharks come ahead shorthanded. Hurdle with Eklund. Hurdle shoots and scores! And Ruta will clear it ahead. And now a foot race and a breakaway. Zetterlin in alone. Scores! Two shorthanded goals on the same penalty kill. And it's 4 2. And Burroughs will send it ahead for Vlasic. He's got it with Stern. He scores! Three in a row, and it's 4-3. Unbelievable. Here in Detroit as Nico Sturm brings the Sharks back to within one. It's been tough keeping track here. Granlin will make it LeBanc with Sturm. Two on one. Bailey, Sturm, scores! They've come back from 4 nothing down in the same period. It's tied, and Sturm has two in a row. And this is absolutely incredible. I, I, I can't remember, Randy, a period like this ever. A pretty darn good career. Granlin loads up, fires it off the boards. They score! It's Hurdle, and it's tied again. Raymond off his back foot, and now a foot race. And here's Zetterlin, in alone, on the breakaway. Granlin scores! They did it again! The Sharks with an unbelievable comeback and then the overtime winner here in Detroit. As Larkin's trying to come back here, he just loses his balance. They knock skates and down they go. Then he holds the stick and that's a terrific fake by Zetterland across to Granlin. It's just hustle. It's just checking. It's skating off the puck. It's working for the puck. Here's Nazem Godry now surrounded. But he's able to stick handle through that traffic. Godry still stick handling. Driving to the net. He scores! Yeah, this is just a one on one individual effort. You're not watching the place. He finishes off being a pain. And walking right around the goal.
goaltender, Jerry, and what a play this is. Whoop, right through the legs, and here comes the next move. Draws it in, cuts to the middle, beautiful edges to keep alive on his skates, and then tucks it in, waiting for it. O'Connor's out there, back on a bump. Manjapani takes it, centering pass. Golden scores! Forward in the seat, and he makes no mistake. And Bongiapane here finds him after a good play by Backlund to tip it through the slot. Backlund steals, drops it off. Sherbovich scores! Sherbovich! And he's on his forehead. Great play by Backlund to steal the puck. And then Sharon Goldman, who is by far the best shooter on the Calgary Flames, rips it by Jari. And there's the giveaway. Backlund with a terrific steal. The shot. Darks already with 21 shots in this game. They're not quite halfway into it. There's a goal for Chicago on the rebound. It's Ryan Donato. Addison just not able to control the stick from Donato. He's able to get a little piece of that. At the United Center, ended up winning 5-2. Penalty coming up here to Granlin. Donato in front, and the Hawks score. Tyler Johnson puts it away. And a perfect pass to Johnson right through that stick of Addison. And then going up and over the glove, top corner. Some bonus time here for the Hawks power play. Kaiser to Jones. Jones shot, and he scores. Seth Jones and Chicago makes it 4-3. Reverses it out to the defenseman, his partner, and gets it back. And now he's got some time here. Jones, Jones into the corner for Polino. Behind the net, Donato. Out to the side. Puck is there. They score. The Blackhawks tie it with 47 seconds left. Again, they do the cycle. Here's Donato with the puck. And... Throws on one side of the net where he probably should have been on the other. They'll bring it across the line. Looking for Bedard who cuts to the net. Jones with the puck. Takes the shot and scores. Seth Jones wins the game in overtime. 5-4 the final for Chicago. And he just does a nice little pass as he finally gets his head up. Makes the pass into Jones. For our trying to come out and at least present some force into Jones, but he pulls it onto that forehand and just lets a good wrist shot go. Fights off the check, back to Perunovic. Going to this side now for Hayes. Tip by Saad. He scores! What a tip by Saad! No looker, and then Brandon Saad. This is really smooth right here. That's a very difficult play. Saad in the slot. He sees him, he's covered though. Now Hayes drifts out across and a shot, and they score! Falk! Another power play goal, and it's a one goal game. Great shot here by Justin Falk and Jake Neighbors, right in front of the net there. And here they come, Bucinavich for Thomas. Going wide on Zaitsev in front, they score! Cairo! Are you kidding me, kid? They've tied the game! Pausing a little bit, he gets lost in coverage, and then as soon as that hits the back of the net, this place goes bonkers. As Jordan Kyra right here. And a face off one back to the rookie Privia who gets it out. Tori Krug back in the zone. Here's Falk shooting one, and he scores! And the Blows laid it on a goal by Falk. Tori Krug to his partner. And then Justin Falk just puts it on net. And it beats the Chicago netminders, kind of on edge, flailing around a little bit. He gets a piece of it. Foligno, waiting, pass, tipped by Cairo. Has an empty net. Here he comes. Yes! With a broken play, no way you're catching him on this play. Drives to the net. Puts the exclamation point on it right there.